Ahoy there folks, I'm Captain Benzie and welcome back to another video for EVE Online. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the upcoming Capsuleer Day 21. Now, I'm really excited about this. I love Capsuleer Day. I think it is one of my favourite events every year. It is a yearly event. It always has some really cool stuff going on, some really cool rewards, really cool content. It's just a lot of fun. And we've got some of the information about what's coming in this year's version. So treat this kind of like a podcast. There's not going to be much in the way of flashy graphics here on screen. It's just going to be me reading through the article, talking about it, adding my opinions and explaining some of the bits that might not be clear to newer players. Now, before we dive in, I do just want to say my sincerest apologies for not having been around much the past couple of weeks. I've been really quite ill. Real life kind of hit me in the teeth hard as well. There's been a lot of stuff going on. Some of you did reach out to say, you know, is everything okay? I just want to say thank you for all that support. It really does mean the world to me. And if you do want to keep supporting this channel, well, you know the usual ways. Channel memberships, Patreon, PayPal tip jar, all that jazz. Otherwise, just hit like and subscribe. It really helps. Anyway, let's have a look then at Capsuleer Day 21. So first of all, calling all brave Capsuleers. It starts on the 30th of April and runs all the way through to the 30th of May. Now, there will be daily login rewards. So even if you cannot get yourself into EVE Online, it is worth, if you don't have time to play like, it is worth just logging in to tick the box to get the reward and immediately logging straight back out. You can do that pretty much on any computer. If you've got a friend who has EVE installed and you just happen to be with them, ask the login very, very quickly. Grab your rewards and head off out. It's also worth noting that the way that these trackers work is that there will be a load of days, it's usually 30 days, but it's sometimes a little bit less to give you a chance to miss a couple here and there. Essentially, you get an alpha track and an omega track, and the omega players get access to both tracks. This also works retroactively. So if you get right to the final day of Capsuleer Day 21, and you decide that you're going to get a mega on that day, then all of the rewards that you've already claimed as alpha, you will then unlock all of the equivalent Omega rewards as well, just for having that one day of Omega at the end. Now, I do occasionally get like weekend pack giveaways, which are like two, three days worth of Omega. I will try to do a giveaway for those toward the end of this month. But heck, whenever I manage to do one, if you're lucky enough to win that and you really want to get the most out of it, do it literally on the last day of Capsuleer Day, 2020, uh, Capsuleer day 21. You'll get all the rewards. It's really, really cool. Anyway, so 30th of April to 30th of May, and we've got some of the lore here. Brave the Abyss for riveting challenges and exclusive rewards all month long. Take on combat, exploration, and manufacturing challenges. Find filaments in loot drops and level up for even bigger rewards. Score sparkling new skins, boosters, filament crates, and more. Log in daily for lucrative rewards and upgrade to Omega to claim a huge haul of skill points and ever marks. Yeah, it's usually something in the region of like half a million, 650,000 skill points up for grabs if you're logging in daily. Really worth doing. So, event details then. Massive energy discharges emanating deep from within abyssal dead space have prompted the Society of Conscious Thought to raise a call for daring pilots bold enough to venture into the abyssal unknown to recover valuable data and technology, explore newly surfaced collapsed conduits, new form of content take on Triglavian or even Drifter enemies for the chance to recover priceless loot and filaments from the battlefield to dive deeper into the abyss. Perilous adventures for Capsuleers of all experience levels, exciting new combat, exploration and manufacturing challenges, earn blueprints and rare materials that give access to abyssal battlefields. This really excites me. I like Abyssal Dead Spaces anyway, but when they talk about these collapsed conduits, this actually sounds like it might be general world stuff as well. I don't know if that's just going to be filaments or how that's going to work. We'll find more information as we go, I guess. But I love the lore of the Abyss, the whole Triglavians and Drifters. I think there's some really, really cool background to delve into there, storyline-wise. And so having more reason... Hell yeah, I'm really happy with that. Plus, we've got exploration and manufacturing challenges in there as well to keep other players busy. Yes, I know there's no mining or gas harvesting there, but let's be fair, if you are mining or like gas harvesting, chances are you're either doing exploration, combat, or manufacturing as well. So there is, in my opinion, still something here for everyone. 
I don't know why they've not done mining challenges directly this time. What I can say as a possible suggestion is that I know that there has been some talk and concerns that when these events happen, because so many miners suddenly log on and want to just harvest everything for the rewards there, that suddenly the market gets flooded a bit and that does negatively impact the market. But I suppose manufacturing kind of does similar. So I don't know. I don't know why they've done it this way. They just have. I still think it's a good system. We're still going to have content for pretty much everyone. You have to be a single-minded, dedicated miner to have like nothing to do here. And in that case, I suggest joining a fleet and having some fun with some friends, right? Speaking of having some fun with some friends, how to participate. Join in the festivities by playing between the 30th of April and 30th of May. You'll see the Capsule Day event in the info panel. Alternatively, you can open the agency from the Neocom and click on Encounters. From there, dive in and take on the challenges that await you. Detect anomalies like treacherous collapsed conduits on your ship's internal scanner. Yes, it's real world content. Excellent. It's not purely abyssal dead spaces. This is going to require you to be flying through real space and finding these uh, sites to run into. Uncover desolate collapsed conduits with scanner probes. That sounds like the relic and data sites, the exploration sites. Valuable items can be recovered with a Relic Analyzer module. There we go. Now, it doesn't actually specify with the Treacherous and the Desolate. Treacherous to me sounds like it's a combat site, right? Treacherous. It's got stuff in it. Whereas Desolate suggests empty and devoid of life. So I reckon the Desolate ones are going to be basically safe hacking sites. That said, there's nothing here that suggests, and in fact, there's stuff here that does suggest towards that the Treacherous might also have boxes in them. So those of us who fly things like Lokis or Tengus that are scanning and hacking and combat, oh, this could be a good time. Either way, two new sites for me to go through. I'm happy with that. Use the blueprints and rare materials you recover from collapsed conduits to manufacture filaments and gain access to more challenging and lucrative abyssal battlefields. New type of abyssal dead space there, an abyssal battlefield. Oh dear lord, can I not wait to jump in and find out what the heck is inside that. Abyssal dead spaces is some of my favourite content, as if you've been watching my channel for any length of time you should pretty much know. So an abyssal battlefield, whoo! More info, please. Cannot wait to try that. Event rewards. Right, it's worth noting that this being a Capsuleer Day event, we are probably going to get access to versions of the ships again. We'll likely get the Metamorphosis, the Sunasis, the Gnosis, and the Praxis. Perhaps even the shuttle version as well. I forget what that one's called. Um, all of the Society of Conscious Thought ships. And the Metamorphosis is such a good ship. They're all really good ships in their own unique ways, but I love the Metamorphosis to pieces, so getting a free one of those for logging in will be pretty sweet. And the Praxis as well, it's a ship I've covered at length on this channel, I think it's a really good one, the Gnosis as well. Sunasis I think is actually the only one that's a little bit more niche than the others, but hey, you should be getting those for free as part of the login rewards. Claim untold riches from event sites and use them to your advantage as you engage in new challenges. Delve deeper into abyssal battlefields for escalating risks, greater rewards, and eternal glory. So, seasonal challenge rewards includes, include a glamour booster crate, boosters, skins, and filament crates. So you will just get some filaments as well, which I'm assuming are the ones for the abyssal battlefields. But also we can loot them from these different sites um, and then manufacture them if we want to go in on those. Loot includes Capsule Day boosters, new Capsule Day skins, and more. And looking at the skins, this is going to be the one time where I do actually call your attention to the screen. The Metamorphosis skin here does look really cool. And if we go up to some of the other ones here at the top as well, you can see like the Zernitra, the Mekubal, the... Stormchild? I want to say Stormchild. The uh, Praxis. All of that here as well. I really like this purple, white, and black colour scheme. Very cool. Looking forward to unlocking those, especially the Mechabell one. I've got some nice skins for, you know, a load of ships anyway, but oh, putting that on the Mechabell, yes please. And I assume again, Metamorphosis, because it's shown here. Snag glorious fireworks in the Alpha DLI reward track, DLI daily login reward. So you get fireworks on the Alpha side of things, um, which again, I think a lot of people underestimate fireworks. I really like them. I know it's such a silly little thing. It might be my time in Signal Cartel referring to fireworks as hugs, but I love them. I absolutely love them. I think they're great fun things to add. Omega rewards include Evermarks, skins, Society of Conscious Thought, ship holes, and boosters. Hmm... Put a pin in that. Filaments, skins, and boosters found in loot drops from NPCs can be sold on the market. An amazing new Capsuleer Day 21 skins await. Awesome. So that's all pretty cool. 
I will be completely honest here. I'm slightly sad to see that the uh, the Society of Conscious Thought shipholes um, look to be exclusive to the Omega track. Those have always been a really nice thing for Alpha pilots to have. I suppose there is the added advantage, quote unquote, that there will be a load more of them on the market now for people who don't want them. So they do become a little bit cheaper to purchase during that time, you know, just on the market at Jitter or wherever. But mm, I kind of wish that was alpha. Um, you will also get a load of login rewards in the form of skill points. It doesn't state here on alpha or omega. I assume, therefore, it is going to be spread across both. It is usually that about 60 to 70% of the skill points are available on the Omega track, with the remainder being on the Alpha track. So there's something for Alpha, but more if you do happen to be Omega. And again, if you're thinking, oh, I don't really have the money for Omega, get enough Plex to get Omega or buy a weekend pack or whatever you need to do. Log in every day to claim all of the Alpha rewards, and then right at the end, log in, you, uh, activate your Omega, and every day that you've claimed the Alpha rewards for as well, you will then suddenly unlock all of the Omega rewards. It's a great way just to make sure that you loot absolutely everything that you can out of there for a minimal investment. Well worth looking into, do remember that. And then there are going to be Twitch rewards. I'm looking into getting into streaming soon. Um, I have been talking about this for a while. I finally got my system all set up, ready for it. it. won't be on Twitch, though. For me, it'd be on YouTube. I am not one of the people, obviously, on CCP TV, but uh, we'll see. I might do some streaming as well during this. During the Capsule Day celebrations, tune into CCP TV for an exciting look at various challenges and possibly pick up a trick or two. By watching Twitch, you can earn a Prophecy Navy issue Archombine Arisen skin. Nice. I do like the Archombine Arisen skins. They're gorgeous looking skins. I mean, you can see the Prophecy one there on the screen as well. Um, and Mysterious Booster Cards Crate. Uh, booster Crate, sorry, not Booster Cards. Can you tell I played Magic the Gathering earlier this week? A random Agency Dose, a random Quaif Booster, a random Stasi Booster, and a, anti a random Anti-Pharmacon Booster. So lots of rewards readily available there. Daily rewards for diligent capsuleers. We can see um, the Mala Capsuleer Day 21 skin. And yes, it is Mala. Let's not go down this one. Watch my video on why it's Mala. Um, but that's so cool. I really like these skins. These uh, Capsuleer Day 21 skins are really cool. This is Alpha as well, which is nice. And that suggests if we're getting the Mala, we'll probably get things like the Rupture, um, the Moa, and the, I want to say the Phobos, it's not the Phobos, it's not the Deimos either, it is the Thorax. My brain will work eventually. Very cool looking skins, happy to see those. Variety of boosters, 24 variety of boosters, then, not 24 varieties, but 24 boosters by the looks of things on the graphics. And Capsule Day fireworks, hoo <laughs> hoo with your good old infinity symbol and lots of bright glowing. Expect the game to crash every time you undock out of Jitter. There's the Zenitra capsule, uh, Capsuleer Day 21 skin. Very cool looking skins. 26,500 Evermarks. So perfect opportunity for you to uh, get a load of the icons for your corp or your alliance added to some of your favorite ships. And 650,000 skill points. It's a lot of skill points. It's a lot of skill points just for logging in. Now here it is. Uh, here we are. There we are. So with up to 525,000 skill points for Omega players, plus the Alpha rewards as well, total of 650,000. So it's 125,000 uh, skill points there as Alpha. If you do get Omega, that goes up by 525,000 to a total of 650,000. A lot of SP up for grabs if you are logging in daily. For me, I'm excited. New content, new Abyssal Dead Space lore, plus some really schmexy looking skins. I'm excited. Are you excited? And if so, tell me in the comment section down below what has got your blood pumping most out of those different options, because there is some really sweet looking stuff there, and I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this one. Otherwise, folks, thank you for watching this one, or rather for listening to me ramble on about this one. Happy sailing, and see you in New Eden!